If you don't like slurps, look away. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, boy. Hello, I am back. I got new piercings today at this place. And I have a new little snake. And I got a new hole here in the lobe. She replaced my stud with, can you see this? With a triple ball. And now I have a gold septum. And now I have a little moon. I don't know if you can see that. I have a little moon right here. I'm in my gold era. Juliet was amazing. So if you are in the Ottawa area and you would like to have a piercing done by a really, really wonderful, and when I say wonderful, I mean this woman is spectacular. She, she is truly, her energy and her essence and her style and her piercings and her tattoos, I mean, she is a walking work of art and she was just so wonderful to talk to. Like, the perfect energy. Salt of the earth. It was just the most beautiful store and she was the most beautiful person. So I am now going to steam a little bit <clears throat> and then I'm gonna have a little cup of tea. Please ignore this messy hotel room. I have been so on the go in the last couple of days. I just really wanted to get out and see the city and just be outside that I have just been throwing things willy-nilly. Um, so ignore the mess. I certainly am. <laughs> but yesterday, I posted this on my, um, on my Instagram saying, hello, my beauty, because in the grocery store, Sweet heavens. I mean, this is just, now, I already had some people message me on Instagram. They were like, if you really want a good tea, try PG Tips. To that I say, okay, one, are you new here? <laughs> I say that as a joke and with love. I have been drinking PG Tips since I was like 12 years old. Um, but truly, and I love PG Tips. This is not a competition, but for me, Yorkshire Gold is just so good and they are very different. I don't wanna hear any anybody with English heritage out there. I know that tea, tea is a, they, these are fighting words. I know this to be true. Um, however, I love what Yorkshire Gold. And when I run out of this, I'll get another box of PG Tips. Actually, I'm probably gonna get another box. They didn't have PG Tips there, but I probably would have bought them both bought I probably would have purchased both. Um, our company manager, Rosa, is English and she always has PG tips in her office as well, so I'm never alone. 
Um, and when I was running out of room in my trunk, I had a big box of PG tips that I just felt like I wasn't ever gonna get through. Um, so I gave them, I gave them to her. But now I'm gonna make myself a little cuppa. And I have Indian food on the way because it is truly so cold outside. The wind is outrageous. And I was out and about walking for a really long time and I just feel completely chilled to the bone. Um, oh, good Lord. Oh, that is gonna be so wonderful. So I ordered Indian food, even though I have food, I know I'm horrible, but luckily um, we have a bus travel day next Monday. So any food that I, that is in my refrigerator that I do will not get to by the end of this week, I will not have to either force feed it all to myself, give it away to someone, um, or put it in a community fridge. Um, I will be able to take it to Toronto and put it in my refrigerator there because I will be in an apartment with a kitchen. Oh my God. You see how that says Taurus? You see how that says Taurus? It really is the little things, folks. Okay, I'll let that sit for like another minute. And I have, I know, I know, it's not regular milk, it's not cream, I know, I know. Ugh. Now, another big thing that gets up for quite some debate is the color of your tea when you were having milk and sugar in your tea. Um, I personally like to keep the tea bag in for a little while to kind of really get maximum flavor. Sometimes I put the sugar in first, sometimes I don't. Um, today, today I did a little bit of both. This is just like a tea, Lindsay's tea preferences episode, I guess. Um, but I like two, two spoonfuls of sugar, always. Whether it's a sugar substitute that I'm using if I'm trying to kind of cut back on sugar intake. But always two, two scoops, two packets, always, always, always. Now we are near the perfect color. One more dollop. Eureka! And there it is. That is the perfect tea color for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay, time to take this bad boy out. Yeah, boy. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Oh, and I don't know if I said this already on this vlog um, or on another one, but I have signed up for the San Francisco Half Marathon on February 5th, 2023. Have I ever run a marathon before? Mm -mm. Did I sign up for a 5K or a 10K? Mm -mm. I said, let's go, let's go bigger, go home. So she's doing like a 13 point whatever the hell mile run. I love running. Um, I've just never trained for a marathon before, so you might be seeing me training for a marathon. <laughs> um, I have no idea what that's gonna do to my body, my voice, my mental health, but um, you y'all know that I love moving my body. You know that I love working out. You know I love strength training, um, which is pretty much everything I gotta do to prepare for this race. I think I have 100 days just a little over a hundred days um, to prepare, which is I think plenty for a half marathon. Now I say this as someone with no knowledge, so don't come for me. That might not be enough time, but if I gotta walk my tush through that thing, I will be finishing it. Now granted, it's San Francisco. And if you've ever been to San Francisco, <sighs> San Francisco, one of my favorite cities ever. It's where I grew up going to theater. I did a lot of theater in the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, San Francisco 
was the city that made me want to move to New York um, because I loved it so much. Now, if you've ever visited San Francisco, driven in San Francisco, which I have, walked around San Francisco, which I have like countless times, Northern California gal, um, there are so many hills. <laughs> there are so many hills. Um, actually, some of the highest hills in the United States in which humans occupy these streets. So I can only imagine how hard this little asthmatic is going to have it while being in this race. But instead of focusing on how hard it's going to be, I'm focusing on how good I'm going to feel after. And um, how proud I'm going to be of myself that I ran a marathon. And oh God, is this going to be my new tattoo? Not getting a race tattooed, but like, is this going to be what tattooing and is this going to be the thing that I do now to like fix my mental health? <laughs> I got to steam my voice. <laughs> Samosas. Have to. We have naan and parota. I think that's how you pronounce it, parota. I think I have uh, rot roti here as well. Um, I have tamarind chutney. I have uh, chicken vindaloo and butter chicken. I wanted to go for like a dal or or a uh, a chapati or any like deep curry rice it's just such a specific winter food craving does anyone when there is a when it, you're in a specific season does anyone have specific like seasonal food cravings i'm not talking like psls like pumpkin spice lattes cider you know squash anything like that I'm talking like very specific food cravings me In the winter time, or in the colder months, I crave, on a primal level, I crave Indian food. When it gets cold like this, I just have, I just crave like cumin and coriander and turmeric and garam masala, ginger, cardamom, garlic. They're just so warming. I have been to that side of the world, and my God, is the food truly not to be believed, completely on a different tier. I, I have to stop eating because I cannot eat too much before a show or else I get a little acid reflux and a little burpee. But if anybody has specific food cravings for specific times of the year, let me know because I would love to try your food cravings and see if they scratch the itch for me. Um, and I love talking about food. <laughs> um, I think that is where I'm gonna leave it for today. <sighs> Cheers. Don't mind this lamp being in the way. You know, we're gonna have one more samosa. We have to. Can you hear that? Samosas are a god to your food and I don't, I'm not gonna argue about it. They simply are. <sighs> simply unbeatable. I'm gonna leave it there. I will talk to you tomorrow. <clears throat> From one happy belly to I hope another happy belly. Have a great day. Drink something you love, eat something that nourishes you, take care of yourself, help yourself anyway, and I will see you tomorrow. One more. Mm -hmm.